Girls 5 Eva is on Peacock, yep. uh, which, which, by the way, if you don't have Peacock, you should just get it. It's very, yeah, it's great. Just get the app, and then you flip it up to your TV. Office, SNL, Mur Tonight Murder, Show. She Wrote, The Tonight Show. Yeah, Murder, She Wrote. Murder, really? She Wrote. Wow. Is it really? I think so. Ooh, Col so. Old Columbos. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, 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 we, we just found out that we're on Peacock. I didn't know. Yeah. Six in the morning, the next day, Tonight Show's on. It's a good morning show. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, check out Girls 5 Eva. We were freaking out. Quest was like, dude, there's more jokes in this than Dirty Rock. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Meredith Scardino is the creator of Girls 5 Eva, and she worked on Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and, <clears throat> and she, uh, she is a joke machine. She's like, I have to be like, take two away. It's too many. <laughs> it's too many jokes. It's too much. It's but too also, many jokes, it's Amadeus. Too, it's, you're making me laugh too much. Stop <laughs> it. Uh, but also, the, the music. Uh, is unbelievable. Quest is like, yeah, there's so many Easter eggs in that. Yeah, wait, I, I gotta watch it like three times each just to. Yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, that, um, Jeff there's, a, there's Jeff Richmond, uh, is, does all the music for our show. Sarah Burles did uh, one song. Um, and, but it's like, there, I saw something, there's 31 songs it, between little tiny songs and stuff in the first eight episodes. It's about a girl group from the 90s who try to make a comeback. And so there's just like a lot of deep cut. Short songs like there's a song that they sing with Vanessa Williams called it's like <laughs> TBF Tiny Butts Forever. <laughs> just like about how people are always gonna like tiny butts. <laughs> there's a lot of funny stuff. I just know, uh, but it's it's a, a brilliant idea too because you're like, oh yeah, someone sampled the Girls Five Eva song. Like, let's get the band back. Yeah. Let's bring back. And then they uh, come on this program. Thank you for being in the pilot. I'm in the pilot. I'm so yes. psyched. The tonight they come on the Tonight Show. They come on Tonight Show and that's it big. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's just fantastic. Uh, and then. If it couldn't be any better, you come on oh, the show, yeah. which, dude, I, I, I love that. I was like, oh, you're just going to play a character? You come on. Did we get this? Oh, no. You were uh, as Dolly Parton. You play yeah. Dolly Parton. Play Dolly Parton. Here's a, no. Don't it's an amazing. Don't clap for that. Did you know you had a Dolly Parton Here, impression? Here's what happened. Remember a long time ago when I looked a lot like Sarah Palin and everyone, everyone was like, you should play Sarah Palin. Yeah. This is the opposite of that. <laughs> No one said. No one asked for this. But what happened was, it was the <laughs> middle of the pandemic when we shot this whole show, and we just kept being like, let's just, we're going to try to get Dolly Parton to maybe really do this crazy episode where Dawn yeah. is like hallucinating that she meets Dolly Parton. And then we just kept trying to like contact Dolly Parton. And then uh, we, it, the time the clock was running out, it was COVID. And then it was like, this shoots day after tomorrow. And it was literally like, uh, who's around, who's already COVID tested and in the system, and it was me. And uh, that's how I've gotten most acting jobs I ever have. Like, who's around? <laughs> who's around? That's how I got uh, update with you. It was just like, oh, uh, she's around. <laughs> you know? she, she could read some jokes, so, yeah. So I tried, to, I tried to come up with a Dolly Parton, um, and if you get Peacock, you can see if I did it. Uh, but how, is there any secrets to getting it? I tried to do a thing. Okay, so I kept, I kept watching, like, different things, and I kept watching uh, mm -hmm. that Christmas movie and stuff that she did, and I kept Best. watching. And then the only thing I kept trying to do is, and when I demonstrate this, you're going to hear that it doesn't sound right, but I just kept, on set, I kept going, um, <clears throat> I kept going, yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Like, that was my closest I could get. <laughs> so, but then yawn I got, like, stretch and try to come to life. <laughs> Not great. It's like not great. No. It's like Halloween quality. But I kept doing <laughs> no, it, and then I had to that. do it like before every line. I was like, I can't. I got to do my. <laughs> yeah. And then Sarah Brellis was just laughing at me because I just happened to do it so much. Uh, I want to show everyone a scene from Girls Five Eva on Peacock. Take a look at this. From Tokyo to the Amazon, Paris, France, to your front lawn, everybody's doing, everybody's doing the splingy. The splingy. Dope! But how? Whoa. First you, First you grab your ear grab like your ear. What's that noise? Shimmy, shimmy, shake it down to the ground. Two handed salute, then back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> Sorry, Spencer. Obviously, this is not the venue to debut the splingy. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be performed on top of a building with adequate netting. That's where you do the slinging. Tina Fey, everybody, watch season one of Girls 5 Ever, streaming now on Peacock. Hey, hey.